Hopefully Nelly will know what this token is for. It does look quite sort of big. Huh, well, hopefully she will. She'll know, she'll know. She seems intelligent enough. Catch up on my right. Rebellion. Hmm. There's a chest up there. How would one get the chest? Well, never mind. Nelly first, Nelly first. Ah, beautiful gardens once again. Here she is, Nelly. Good news, Were you my able dear. To follow one of the Dedalian keys. I did. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Did? Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Mm -hmm. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. House chests? I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Ooh. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. Well, I hope so. So I ooh. should see this through and find the Ravenclaw house chest. Certainly will. This is exciting. I wonder what 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 the prize oh, is, so to speak. Prize? Would you call it a prize? I took my copy of one thousand magical. Okay. Aha! Here we go. The house this must be chest. My house chest. I just need to insert the token. Okay. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to Ooh. open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Hmm. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So we need to find. 15 more tokens. Cool. Well, that's brilliant. All right. I think I should go back to Arthur and tell him I found the chest. And then maybe head to Hogsmeade. Hmm. Yes, I know there's a few things that need to be done there. Mr. Pippin wants our help. And we could also go and have a look at the brooms at Spintwitch's. We're going to see you can stay up for later. Ah, Arthur, I've got some good news. Made any progress with your treasure map? I have indeed. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Did oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. Oh, God. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Me too. That was fun. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Uh-huh. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Good God. Okay. <gasps> cat. Hello, cat. Ooh. Beautiful cat. Yes. All right. Well, I think I will head down to Hogsmeade, do a few jobs, and um, help a few folks out. Oh, there you are. Uh, oh. Aha! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Mr. Pippin. I believe this is Mr. Pippin's potion shop. Yes, it is. J. Pippins. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Um, I think one of the professors wanted me to get a potion of some variation. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Eridus potions and use them simultaneously. Ooh. Well, Mr. Pippin, hello. Um... You need help with a delivery. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with a delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. Oh. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Oh, dear. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Happy to help. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. 
She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Uh, I wonder why she needs all these invisibility potions. Very interesting. Um, well, let's have a look at what you have for sale, sir. All right, well, let's go and see Fatima then. And hopefully she won't give us too much... Um, too much grief. I'm sure she won't. I'm sure she won't. But I wanted to have a look at spint witches. So where is spint witches in comparison to myself? The, oh. Follow the... What? Oh. Something about a swarm of butterflies. Well, that's alright. Three broomsticks. Steeply and sons. Honeydukes. Ooh, honeydukes would be nice. Brood and peck. Could we... Could we have a pet, do you suppose? Maybe, maybe not. Um, okay, uh, Gladrags and Wizardware, Zonkos, Ollivanders, Tombs and Scrolls, Hog's Head, um, The Old Fool. Where is Spin Twitches then? Is it. Ah. No. This is it. Okay. Go to Spint Witches and have a little look at their brooms, just to see if there are any um, anything we can afford, or if we are going to have to save our galleons and sickles. Can I? Hello. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Ooh, don't mind me, sir. I'm just going to um, investigate this chest. A floral fedora. Flora fedora. <gasps> a cat. You have a cat. Hello, cat. Lovely cat as well. Mm. Yes, hello. <gasps> I see. Ha -ha. Spint Witch's Sporting Needs. Run by the amiable Albie Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enchantments. Ah. Oh, ooh, look at these brooms. Marvellous. Well, sir, um, hello. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows. Oh. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Um. Yeah, what else can you share about brooms, actually? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Very good. Um, what, what's this about disrupted trade routes? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Hmm. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Well, let's, uh, let's have a look then. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. All right, so what's this? You weave a broom, a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. Huh, stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. Wind wisps. Moon trimmer broom, finely crafted from ash. This broom is built for stability. Uh, Hogwarts house broom, a broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Ember dash broom, the perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Ooh. Dark Lightning Broom, a sleek, superior broom designed to celebrate those who dare to dabble in the dark arts. I mean, we could afford it, but 
That sounds menacing. Um, we can preview that it. item is of the highest quality. Okay. Um, oh, I do quite like that with the flame. That's very nice. Um, that item is of the highest quality. Ravenclaw, the Ravenclaw broom. The moon trimmer broom with little bags and a little lantern. Very cute. That um, item is of the highest quality. Hmm. You weaver broom. Hmm. Well, I, 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 oh, okay. I rather that like this one. That item is of the highest quality. Is there anything particularly special about them? I mean, this is a little dull, isn't it? And why is it so expensive? Well, do you know what? We'll that go. I think is in Ember the highest quality. I like it. We'll go with an You'll Ember Dash broom. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I Thank promise you. you. All right. Great. So we bought a broom. Can you buy anything off me? Uh, yes, you might as well take that. Nice doing business with you. Well, thank you. We've got a broom. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Mm. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. All right. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Oh. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Um, well... How did your passion for brooms begin? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. No. I know I'm onto something. You took Madame Kagawa's class. I imagine everybody kind of does, or did, before she obviously was an adult and became a teacher. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. <laughs> she thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. And why am I the right person for this? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. Really? I need a flyer with no bad habits and a knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. Oh, well, that's nice He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Well, all right. I'll do it. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. Oh. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Well, all right. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Brilliant. So we got a broom. We've got a broom. Marvellous. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Yes, it's very admirable, I suppose, you know. He, um, he's got a passion for it, and obviously he enjoys it, so... Seredwin's Cauldron. It's going to be... Oh. Wow, that is a big cauldron. Rodenia. Okay. Uh... 
walk around. Anything in here? Oh, just the outside world again. Well, that's all right. Well, I suppose I'd better go and deliver deliver these items and... Or should I go to the Quidditch pitch first? I think we'll go to the Quidditch pitch first. Go and fly. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh! Hey, hey! Look at this! Okay, yeah. And off we go. Ooh. I do rather like those flames, although I fear of my cloak setting ablaze. Oh, she's over there. Rumor has it there's a secret passage, but I haven't found it. Probably for the best. Ooh. I'd be at the three broomsticks all day. Interesting. Very interesting. Passages, secret passages. Hello. Hey, you, Ravenclaw. Yes, that's me. Hello, Melda. And Melda Ray's. I'll be weak sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. Oh, she's a Slytherin. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Well, if he can't fly, why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying, from what I know. I Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't like her. Yeah, that's not what happened. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Yeah. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Wow. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Well. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. <gasps> Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. All right. What sort of courses are these? Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humour you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch... It was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Are you? Really, madam? Well, all right. It's rock and roll, buckaroo. Okay. Aha. Oh God. Ah, come on now.
Yeah. Woo! We did, did it. Anyone else see that? Oh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh. Fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want it. Do you know what? I don't want your respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. Mm. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. You're incredibly rude. There you are. Yes. Across one's duelist to beat. Hello. All right. Yes, you are very rude, madam. I'm going to return to Albie and tell him how Mr. rude you are. Will be glad to hear how I fed. Let's go. She is incredibly rude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How can one be so rude? Mr. Weeks! Oh, you're back! I am. We've something to report, I hope. Oh, very good news. Very good news indeed, sir. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? It was very good. It's still turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Well, I can't wait to hear more. In fact, who's doubted you, actually? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Yeah. Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. No. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Well, I can't wait to hear more. I'll speak to you later. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. All right. Hmm. Brilliant. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Hmm. Well, I suppose we should go and do our delivery. Should we not? <sighs> Although it is... Hmm. Although it is a little late to be delivering, maybe... Oh. Maybe we should go and meet Sebastian. That would probably be wise. He has been waiting a long time. Rebellion. What? Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I'll go and meet him. Why not? What's that? Oh, those toadstool things. Hey, more crystal. Okay. Over here. Yes, Sebastian, hello. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. Okay. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, mm -hmm. and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Probably Understood. Not. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. All right. Well, this way. lead the way. Hmm. There's a secret Revelia. passage just here. It's oh. well disguised. All right. Oh. I guess it's in in here then. Okay. How did 
did you find this place? Yeah. My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Oh. We used to play gobstones here all the time. Ah. With my sister. Rebellion. And she loved that infernal game. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to lose to her again. Well, I you should will. tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. Okay. So please, keep this between us. Of course, of course. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. No, I understand. We used to sneak in here almost daily. <laughs> We've never been caught. Well, that's... I mean, you should be obviously doing your schoolwork, but... Revelia. You know. Aha, here we go. Anything else? I can hear something. Oh, stack of cauldrons. Okay, um, well, Sebastian, let's talk. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind. Oh, And wow. no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. True. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Mm. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one. Okay. Especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. Yeah. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His yeah. father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Wow. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Oh. Really? Like what? Yeah. Like the Blasting Curse. Oh. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Um... I mean, the blast... I mean, it might be dangerous, but... This is a little ridiculous. Uh, uh, okay. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. True. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair... I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. Oh. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. Teach away. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Uh, Mimic right. my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Confringo. Very well. Okay. All right. Confringo. Brilliant. You're getting it. Yes. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Okay. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Yeah, definitely. Okay, have let's let's have a look. Um, Confringo. There we go. Uh, we'll pop it there for now. The, oh, I Both see. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. Wow. All right. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. <laughs> That's it. I think I've got well it. done. Okay. Confringo. I like it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. Oh dear. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Um. Yeah, I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, 
I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Okay. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. No. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'd be glad to. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Oh. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Yeah. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. <sighs> Should I trust Sebastian? He's trusted me with this. Granted, it's not on the same scale, but... I'll tell you the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. Yep. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Well... Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. Maybe. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Probably. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Certainly will. No problem. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay, send me the owl. I don't know whether it was the right thing to tell him, but... I need somebody I can trust. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Oh, dear. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognise that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Mm -hmm. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Um, I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passage. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Don't you threaten me. No need for threats. Yeah. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant! Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. You're very rude. God. Aha! Uh -huh, I see you. Oh. Okay. What? Where did it go? I saw the bloody thing. Ravenia. Did it come up here? What? Oh. What? Where is it? 
Where did it go? Oh. It's near its cabinet. Ha ha ha. Okay. Ha ha. Perfect. Wonderful. Another house token. Brilliant. So we got some mail. Oh, Professor Garlic's assess assignments? Okay. Um, Owl post. Here we go. Professor Fig. Aha! Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Professor Fig. Brilliant. All right. Well, brilliant. Okay. Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Oh, God. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Hmm, the map chamber. Maybe I should start doing some more... Some more of the professor's assignments. Hmm. I do have this delivery though. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. Ooh. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. All right. That's fine. Professor Garlic wants us. Okay, well. What's that? Ah, nothing. Well, maybe I should go to bed. And then, and only then, can we make our delivery.